Debbie has arrived. Rain bans are hitting Hampton Roads and tidal flooding is possible in Southern Virginia Beach. The storm proved deadly in North Carolina. Tornadoes caused destruction in addition to flooding. Our chief meteorologist Jeff Edmondson has the latest right now on Debbie. Jeff. Yeah, Debbie continues to weaken as a storm. It's a tropical tropical depression. The storm is going to continue moving to the north. You can see the next couple of days. It's all about that rainfall. But for uh, right now, it's not just a chance for rain. It's also that chance for some severe weather too. Here's a look at Super Doppler 10. We have this tornado watch that goes until 8 o'clock tonight, including the Hampton Road cities. And we had a lot of tornado warnings earlier today. Those tornado warnings started coming down around 1:30 in the afternoon. They finally concluded here not too long ago. Go. Heavy rainfall stays to our west. That's where all the flooding is happening. For us, we're getting periods of heavy rainfall, but we're not seeing the flooding type of rain so much into our area. That's staying a little bit more to our west, which is good. We don't really need any more rainfall. We're drought free right now, but we still have these bands of rain and moisture moving in from the south from Debbie, the storm system that's off to our west. Some rainfall in Williamsburg right now. This is part of the leftovers of that stronger thunderstorm we were tracking earlier where we had those tornado warnings with them. That storm has gotten a lot weaker. You can see as it's lifted to the north, no longer a big concern now, thankfully. Wakefield, you have some rain. Cortland, you just had a downpour come down. Some scattered showers across the Hampton Road cities into the uh, into Virginia Beach, into Chesapeake, into Norfolk and Portsmouth right now. You're seeing some rain. You'll get some of these scattered showers to also move in across the peninsula as we go into tonight. So that's where we are right now. Scattered showers on the map. I'm not seeing anything that's looking very strong on radar at the moment farther to our south. Again, that's still a chance, though, into tonight that we could see something flare up and we may have another uh, opportunity for some severe weather. Here's our feature track going into six and at seven o'clock more bands of rain moving across a Hosky. So we'll be watching for that. That severe weather chance all across our area for tonight. Just cloudy skies right now and look at those clouds. They're moving. 